is GameStop squoozing right now because we are potentially picking up our bubble trend line. Looks like we're flagging it. Looks like we're attacking this neckline. So I got a double neckline breakout scenario for you on GME today. Uh, 333 next target. Like, share, comment, subscribe, turn on notification. What's up? Yep. Buy request more GME videos. Um, plus, also, it's really the only thing going on. But uh, the scenario that I was talking about, I think on Friday, where you get our uphill W here, uh, and it paints a bubble trend line. That's what we've been trying to find the whole time is our takeoff bubble trend line for the squeeze. We get our false breakout of the 194 neckline. And then it looks like we may have just bull flagged, bull flagged into uh, our trend line. This might be it. So uh, if this thing holds, if this thing pushes us through the 194 neckline, I'm on a one minute chart. This is a little too aggressive. Let me pop out to a five minute show, show our neckline. And then I'll go back to the previous bubble on like a 15 minute chart. So you can see what I'm talking about. So the previous bubble, we had a bottom neckline at 194. And then we have a top neckline area around 333. Um, so what I'm looking at right now is uh, if we can pick up this bubble trend line pushes us through the bottom neckline. I think we'll go straight to 333. Um, but then we have another several days of probably consolidating in between the necklines before it can push us out the top. Like if this is our squeeze line, it's pretty hot and it will give us, you know, that thousand dollar or whatever area mid April. Like we'd be in the thousands in mid-April pretty easily. But I think if this trend line works and it pushes us out, I would definitely see, here's my whole bull case for the GME squeeze breakout, assuming this trend line is good. Uh, as we get pushed out today, right now, boom, we head up to the 333, right? And then probably consolidate inside the neckline until this thing can push us out the top. And then who knows what crazy stuff we would do uh, above this or where the upside targets would be if the squeeze blows up. Um, but that's what we're looking at is, is for this trend line to push us out the top and we can get up to the squeeze and then uh, worry about the rest of the stuff later. Um, but that's the idea there. We just have these two necklines we have to get through and we haven't been able to get out of this 194. We keep coming back to it. We keep getting trapped and we need to pick up support to get through it and I we might have just done that right now all right so that's the GME look and uh, I guess the general market there's like nothing going on we have some of the uh, bearish stocks kind of rallying like Tesla's rallying today arts rallying a bit um, so that's pretty cool we're seeing uh, the market acting weird bitcoins up a little bit and the S&P isn't looking that strong it's doing a super weird wobbly pattern below the highs here, and it looks uh, it looks bad. The general market looks bad because the dollar is just freaking blowing up. This vertical move in the dollar is extremely dangerous for the markets in general. We just had one hedge fund blow up. Uh, we know if GME freaking goes to the moon, you can <laughs> you can blow up some more hedge funds. Um, but that puts the banks at huge risk if the hedge funds start getting in trouble. If you start getting margin calls, it puts the whole market at risk. Um, so that's kind of the thing. I've had a video talking about that before. Like, can GME like break the whole stock market? Um, but it could definitely coincide with some margin calls happening and some down moves in the general market. So uh, I think my last S&P video, I was targeting this... Uh, Targeting breaking the highs and back testing this bull channel again. I don't know. This doesn't look strong like it wants to do that right now. I don't know if we can get up there or not. Um, 
And we'll just have to kind of see what the S&P does. I don't think it's ready to break down today, uh, especially since we have the tech stocks rallying a little bit right now. Um, so just kind of watching watching the uh, everything else is just boring, man. GME is the only thing going on. Oh, uranium, I think, is that a good price here? <laughs> the URCCF. Uh, but I don't know like if this kind of commodity stuff, it's pretty separate from the market, the stock market, but this looks like it's kind of flagging into support here at 235 as a potential buy and hold. Uh, I might buy some uranium and throw a tight stop loss under it and just see if it can ignore the market and kind of pick up as just like a... A weird like energy commodity kind of long hold um, and like that kind of hold play could be something you hold for quite a while um, I don't know there's not a lot of charts that look particularly good today that's like the only chart I think that looks interesting I'm still kind of watching this oil oil did rally to a spot where I would have shorted it here but that was overnight so I couldn't do puts um, I'm trying to I'm looking at long-term puts on oil if oil can get back up and kind of pick like grind this downtrend line again here I might pick up an oil short later today I don't know anyway that's that's the general look as GME may be squeezy squeezing um, I guess on the bear side for GME we have well we already back checked this thing once. This is too much action for this to be like a second down test on the channel here. If it's going to down test the channel twice, it does it twice in a row. It doesn't flag and do weird stuff and then come back down. Um, so I think on the downside, it would be more. Uh, we have a decent support at 120 where we did our W takeoff. And then we have the longer term trend lines coming in underneath pretty tight under there as well in the 100 to 120 range so I think if GML if GME does like fall out down to some boring support areas it would just be in like this one whatever 110 120 kind of range um, as the downside like bear case on GME that's pretty much all I'm seeing like <laughs> GME hasn't really been moving with the general stock market it's mostly been moving opposite to the general stock market and so that's kind of the idea of the big short squeeze putting uh you know putting hedge funds at risk which puts banks at risk which can cause a domino effect because uh, all the international banks are all tied together with all of their loans and positions and then a lot of the hedge funds are kind of tied together as well come on gme blow the top blow the top off this thing right now while we're doing a video just do it uh and this is never financial advice i'm not an advisor it's just an entertainment channel with a scenario. Um, let's see. Oh, I could. Let me try to tab over to my. Uh... <laughs> yeah, this is this is how you do a extremely diversified portfolio right here. <laughs> this is all of my holdings. I was just grabbing these uh, call options, which are incorrectly priced right now. They're not that cheap. Um, this has a big delay on it, but uh, yeah, <laughs> that's my entire my entire investment portfolio for today. <laughs> it's just just GME. It's the only thing going on. So, okay, yeah. Come on, do it, do it. While I'm looking at the video, we're just trying to blast this freaking neckline, and we have already flagged twice. Let me get back to the five minute chart where the lines actually line up correctly. Or they don't line up at all. Oh, because I grabbed the thing on like an hour for this for this stupid thing. I gotta go back out and grab it. Hold on. I think we're gonna pop the neckline like right now on the video, like while it's happening. And you don't need this video live because I told you this exact scenario uh, on Friday. So, this is normal, completely normal. Yeah, this is already a lot of drama uh, today so far because we already opened sporadic and we already did another false breakout of the neckline. 
Um, but this looks like this looks like a couple of bull flags, like right into a lovely freaking support line. Like we blasted out of the down channel, false breakout, tag the neckline, tag the neckline, tag the neckline. Like we are trying really hard to break this thing. Come on, do it, do it. All right. I don't think I have time to sit here and watch the, the freaking ticker on this thing, but it does look like it does look like we're doing it, man. I think we're gonna do it. I think GME is going to maybe today. I could GME could hit like 333 today if it blows this thing. Well, how long, how much time do we have? By tomorrow morning, I would not be surprised to be at 333 by tomorrow morning. But uh, then crazy volatile stuff um right okay that's enough for this one gme update uh we might be squozening